As we're developing our applications in our local development environment, sometimes it's helpful to see the actual email that would get sent out without actually sending it out to a real email address. So in this episode, we're going to look at using a service called Mailhog, which you can download and run on your local machine. So when we send an email, we'll go over to the Mailhog tab, and then we can see the email, we can click on it, and we can look at its details. And this is very helpful in situations where you're testing out a mail loop. Maybe you're doing a marketing blast and you want to test it out on your local machine first. Previously, I was using the letter opener gem, which I really liked. However, it is just one additional gem dependency in our application and it's not really needed, especially if we are already using a Docker environment. Because the letter opener gem would essentially open up a new tab with the contents of that email. So instead with Mailhog, we'll get a more webmail experience here where we can see all of the emails and then we can click on them to then investigate what they look like. In another area where this could be useful, let's say if you have a staging environment where there's been a reported bug that you need to go in and try to figure out. However, for whatever reason, you just cannot figure it out on that staging environment and you request the information to be downloaded to your local environment so you can test there. And of course, this would also work with a production set of data. However, I don't recommend downloading your production data into your local environment because that does have some natural security concerns around the personal identifiable information. However, let's say you are in a desperate situation where you do end up doing that. You now run a risk of emailing out real users if you're using a internet accessible delivery method whether it's SMTP that goes out to a Gmail server or something else, you run the risk of emailing actual customers with data that you would not want to send out. So by doing this on our local environment, we are absolutely preventing any emails from getting sent out. And we're going to look at how we can configure that in this episode. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.